Is 2020 the best year to purchase solar? Let's examine the data and find out. I'm Jonathan Stewart and welcome to CleanerWatt. Like any technology, photovoltaic panels or PV solar panels have had massive improvements and cost reductions over the years. Solar is now a mature product with over 60 years of commercial viability. In 1955, Hoffman Electronics introduced the first commercial photovoltaic product with a 2% efficiency and an energy cost of $1,785 per watt. Now this is $1,955, so if we adjust for inflation in today's money, that would be somewhere around $17,118 per watt. Now here we are in 2020 and PV solar panels have an efficiency right around 20% on average and the cost is on average somewhere around $2.96 per watt. Modern solar panels are 10 times more efficient and 5,700 times less expensive if you adjust for inflation. So let's examine the data and see why 2020 just might be the best year to purchase solar. So as I mentioned in the beginning, the first commercially viable solar panel had an efficiency of around 2%. Here's a list of some of the top solar panel brands and their rated efficiencies. You'll see there that SunPower actually has some of the most efficient solar panels on the market, topping out at 22.2%. Panasonic, which also has a solar partnership with Tesla, has an efficiency of up to 21.6%. And then of course, LG up to 21.1%. You'll see that there are many choices right around that 20% range, and so efficiency has reached a good place in the technology right now. Another important thing that helps you determine the best time to purchase solar is the average cost per watt of a solar system. The cost of solar has fallen 22% over the last five years, or an average of 4.4% each year. Here's a five-year look of the average cost of solar. You'll see there from 2015 to 2016, the price decreased 11%. From 2016 to 2017, the price per watt decreased 6.8%. From 2017 to 2018, the price decreased 2.5%. And from 2018 to 2019, the price has decreased on average 2.9%. You'll notice there that the price per watt appears to be stabilizing somewhere around that 25 to 3% mark. So not only is the cost per watt of solar stabilizing, but also the U.S. federal tax credit will be ending after 2021. Currently right now in the United States, if you put solar on your residential or commercial property, you can take a 26% tax deduction off of the cost of solar. In 2021, the deduction will go down to 22% for both residential and commercial. And in 2022, the residential deduction will disappear and a 10% deduction for commercial only will apply. Now let's take a look at the actual cost for an 11.4 kilowatt array of solar. And we're going to factor in both the cost per watt decreases of 3% each year, as well as the decreases in the tax deductions to see the actual lowest price in the next few years of purchasing solar. So in 2020, if you were to purchase an 11.4 kilowatt solar system based on the $2.96 per watt average, you would come up with a system that costs $33,744. If you deduct the 26% tax deduction, that system now costs you $24,970, or just around $2.19 per watt. In 2021, if we factor in a 3% cost decrease for the cost per watt of solar and we factor in the 22% tax deduction, we come to a total of $25,530 or $2.24 per watt. In 2022, a residential system, once again factoring in that 3% decrease in the cost of solar per watt with no tax deduction, would come out to about $31,736 or $2.78 per watt. So you can see based on these numbers that financially 2020 is a really good year to purchase solar. If the U.S. government does not extend the tax credit or add a new tax credit for solar, it'll take somewhere around 10 years before you can achieve that price of $2.19 per watt with just the 3% each year cost decrease of solar alone. Another factor that supports getting solar as soon as possible are the rising electricity costs. 
According to EIA.gov, the average monthly bill in the United States in 2018 was $117.65. That is up 5.4% from the average bill in 2017 and up 4.5% from the average bill in 2016. So electricity prices are on the rise. According to that same data from EIA.gov, from 2017 to 2018, there were six U.S. states that actually saw a rise in electricity cost over 10%. Rhode Island tops the list with a 14.5% average electricity bill increase. Hawaii with a 12.6% increase. Massachusetts with a 12.3% increase. As the price of electricity goes up and the price of solar goes down, it of course makes more sense to get solar as soon as possible. Something that almost everyone looks at when they're determining whether to purchase solar or not is the payback period of the solar system. Well, according to Energy Sage, the typical solar payback period in the United States is somewhere around eight years. Of course, in sunny states like California, that number is less. And in more cloudy states like the Pacific Northwest, of course, that number might be greater. Some of the factors that could change these numbers are the monthly kilowatt hours of electricity consumption, your cost per kilowatt hour of electricity, how many sun hours per year you get, the size and cost of your PV system, and also whether you have a good battery storage system or not. Another reason to get solar as soon as possible is, of course, to transition our electricity generation over to renewables as quickly as possible. According to the EPA, in 2017, 28% of the USA's greenhouse gas emissions came from electricity generation. The more solar we deploy, the lower this number can go, and we can decrease our greenhouse gas emissions and also our air pollution. So in conclusion, because of the high efficiency panels that we have today, plus a very substantial tax credit which will be going away after 2021, and the low cost of solar per watt, and with a price stabilization, 2020 sure appears like the best year to purchase solar. We obviously don't know the future and what's going to happen, but based on the data that we do have, this all equates to one of the best prices you're going to get on solar in any time in the near future. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something and that you enjoyed it as well. If you are not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Also, if you did like the video, please consider clicking the like button so other people can find the video as well. Thank you so much.